this tutorial we're going to use the mod flow package for Python uh, flowpy uh, to create a mod flow model and I will show you how that's done so we're here we're in PyCharm and what I'm going to do is add a new Python file and we'll call it the flowpy example and the first thing we need to do is do some imports. Um, actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you where this tutorial is. This is on GitHub uh, with the FlowPy repository. Um, so you can see this here. You can go here to see this tutorial. I'm just going to walk you through it and maybe explain a little more uh, in a little more detail than what is what is given here. What ModFlow is doing. Okay. So we first need to import FlowPy. Um, you'll need to make sure you install this package before you start, uh, and you'll also need to have ModFlow installed on your machine. And we also want to import uh, NumPy. And now we can get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going uh, to give to make a model name variable, and this is just. Uh, a name for our model. All the modflow files will have this name in them. And so I'm going to uh, call it the flow, flow pie example. And then we need to create the modflow object. Um, we'll call it mf and flowpy.modflow.modflow. And then we need to give it the model name. And we need to give it the exe name, uh, which in this case I'm going to just give it the path to the directory. Uh, if I can remember it here, I might have to pull it up over in this window. Here we go. And this. Uh, will be the path to the executable file that you get when you download the when you download modflow. And so that's where my install is. You you download modflow, you get a zip folder, you want uh, you extract those files and you should have a path similar to this for modflow 2005. Okay. Now we'll keep on going here. So the next thing we need to do is set up some basic variables. So LX is going to be the length of our model domain of the X direction, so make it a thousand meters. And LY, the length of the Y direction, make those the same. Z top is the elevation of the top of our model. We can make it zero meters. And Z bot will be uh, the bottom. The, the low elevation, the bottom of our model domain, which will make negative 50 meters, so 50 meters below the surface. And lay is the number of layers you want in the model. We'll just do one. And row, the number of rows. And call, the number of columns. And DLR is the width of the row, which will just be equal to uh, the X direction length divided by the number of columns. And DLC is the column width, which will be the same except divided by the number of rows, and that should be LY. Okay. And then uh, the vertical spacing of the layers, which will be the Z top minus the Z bottom divided by the number of layers, uh, which in this case is still just going to be 50 meter spacing, so we have one layer. And then the bottom, uh, this is going to give us an array with two values in it. Uh, 
um, that gives us the top and bottom dimension or the top and bottom values of those layers. So we'll have 0 and negative 50 in there. Um, this just spaces those evenly so the layers, the layer breaks will be spaced evenly. Okay. And so now we need to create uh, a discretization object. And all these objects we're creating here uh, directly relate to modflow files. So there is a .dis file that modflow needs to run. Um, and we're giving uh, the model here the, the inputs for that. And so flowpy.modflow.modflow this, OK? And the things we need to give it here, we need to give it the model, which is MF. Uh, we need to give it the number of layers, the number of rows, the number of columns, and then we need to give it the uh, the width, the row width, the column width. Um, the model top, and the model bottom, which we just give it the first value in our array. No, we just give it, yeah, give it the model bottom there. And then the other thing you can do is this. Um, and there, you see these other op options down here, and you can go to the Modflow documentation. This one, the ITMUNI, is the units. Um, so we want to do meters per second. This is the time units. Um, and I want to use per second. I think it defaults to hours. Um, one is the code per second. So we're going to do this in meters per second instead of meters per day or meters per hour, whichever the default is. I believe it's actually per day. Okay. And so we have that set up now. Now what we need to do is we need to define um, the BAS package, which is the boundary package, and it says which areas of this model domain are going to be active, which are inactive, and which are going to be constant head boundaries. And so the iBound array will give us, uh, first of all, the definitions of those. So we'll do NP1s. Uh, we want an array to mention number of layers, number of rows, number of columns. And we want it to be int32. And what we're doing here is we're going to put constant head boundaries on the first and last uh, columns. And so the way we do that is in the iBound array, um, constant head boundaries are defined by negative 1. And so we're going to set column 0, the first column, equal to negative 1. And we'll do the same thing for the last column. Okay, and so now we have those two columns set equal to negative 1, and everything else in that array is equal to 1 because we used the NP1s. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is define those constant head boundaries. So we'll do NP1s again, uh, number of layers, number of rows, number of columns. We want to float 32 this time. And we're going to set the the value in the first row to 10 and the value in the or the value in the first column to 10 and the value in the last column to 0. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing here. Colon colon 0. We're going to make that 10. And then we'll do 
again. I'll make that zero. Okay, so now we have those arrays defined. And what we're going to do is now set up the BAS package. Uh, so we'll do bass equals flowpy dot modflow dot modflow BAS. And we give it the model. We give a iBound equals iBound and start equals start. Okay. And now that package is set up. Now we're just going to set up the rest of these packages. Um, this next one, uh, the LPF package, uh, is the only other one that's going to have variables in it. Um, and so our LPF is going to equal flowpy dot modflow dot modflow LPF. And this is where we set up our hydraulic conductivities. So HK is horizontal hydraulic conductivity and we're going to do point 0 0.01 meters per second and VKA is vertical hydraulic conductivity and it's going to be the same 0 0.01 and that's in meters per second. Okay. Um, and then we will go down and we'll do the OC package and the rest of these are really easy. Um, we just give it the model or the mod flow object and that's it and then we need a PCG package um, and I believe that should be everything okay so we have all our packages set up all the input files mod flow needs now what we have to do is we have to write those and so we need Take the mod flow object. We want to write the input. No parameters needed. And once we have that, we can run the model. Okay, so we're going to get our output success buffer um, equals mod flow dot run model. Okay, so let's run this really quick and make sure everything works. We don't have any errors. Okay, so it's running. And there we go. Normal term termination of simulation. Uh, it seems like our model ran fine. What we really want to do now is we want to see those outputs. And we can do that using matplotlib and uh, reading the, the the modflow binary file. And so we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we're going to import flowpyutils binary file as bf. Okay. Um, so we want to set up a subplot here. Okay, and this is going to read the binary file, and we want to read the hydraulic head, so we're going to get the head file, and we want our model name plus dot hds, so it's going to read this output file that modflow created when we ran it. Um, and then we're going to read the head data. And this is the uh, time step we want to get it from. Okay. Um, and then we're going to arrange the levels. 
we have 10 rows and columns, so that's what we want to do. And then we're going to set up the extent. It's the number of rows divided by 2.0. The x direction minus the rows divided by 2.0. The y direction minus minus the columns divided by 2.0 and finally the columns divided by 2.0 and then we want to do a contour plot want to use head want the top layer all the rows all the columns uh, we want to do it based on the levels we defined and the extent we defined. And finally, we want to show the plot. Okay, so now this will show us a plot, a contour plot, uh, color coded of our hydraulic heads. So let's just run this again. There you go, and it finished. Um, and you can see that we have. Our, our heads varying across the, uh, the model domain. And so that's a really simple example, uh, just enough to get you started on this. And what I will do in the next video is show you how you can take actual geographic data, like a digital elevation model, um, and use that to create your mod flow inputs and, and then create uh, geographic outputs as well.